and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading going from June 1st to June 8th. This space has been cleared and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind. So we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle that busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below. So you will know when Virgo content is uploaded, Virgo content comes out every single Thursday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal read, please feel free to check out that description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and you would like to subscribe, please click on that link to my Patreon account in the description box below. Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings depending upon subscription level. Also down there are all my social media contacts. On my social media pages, you will every day get a daily astrology reading, a daily uh, Elder Futhark rune reading, a, a Romance Angel Oracle card, a, a Fairy Wisdom Oracle card, a Starseed uh, Oracle card, and a Priestess of Light Oracle card here on YouTube, those things all get put together and then I give you an energy summary at the end. It's usually a 10 to 15 minute video. It is all that. It's for the collective and not for any one particular side. As such, I am not going to go in depth into a, the astrology the way I used to. Instead, I'm going to be making sure to let you know about full moons or new moons as they're coming up and uh, also go through and let you know um, on day, days that might be particularly challenging. First instance, the first with the wax and gibbous moon in Scorpio, square Mars in Leo. Tensions may be running high. Have a healthy outlet for all that physical energy. So, square. Okay. Square is at a 90 degree angle. This from here to here is our, those planets are 90 degrees away from each other in the sky. It means opposition. It means tensions. It means problems. The other side is opposites. They're 180 degrees away from each other. And that means they're also going to be in tension. And this, on so the case of the first, that energy needs a place to go. Give it one or it'll find one. And that will result in fighting with other people. Uh, on the fifth, you have a similar issue. Waning uh, gibbous moon in Capricorn opposite Pluto and Aquarius you're going to be thinking about your long term plans and um, oh we have a full moon on the 3rd by the way Saturday the 3rd is the full moon at 11.42pm that's why it goes from waxing to waning waxing before the full moon, waning after the full moon give attention to big ideas your uh Hmm. You're going to be, your existing commitments or beliefs are going to be tested on that full moon. But pay attention to those big ideas. So uh, on the 5th, you're 180 degree angle from uh, Venus to Pluto, Leo to Aquarius. So focusing on those long-term plans with that Gemini moon, but relationship issues will be bubbling to the surface. I'm creating fights. So expect that tension. On the 7th, you have that uh, moon in Aquarius. So solutions are going to come from an, an, a new source. There's going to be a lot of ideas the rest of the days. Things will be bouncing all over the place. Uh, you know, only really focus on those ideas and that can be taken with a practical approach, which is usually easier for you. Moon in Aquarius on the 8th. Moon in Aquarius, square, Uranus, and Taurus. Focus on small changes so that you don't lash out on others. It won't seem like a big deal, but consistent, healthy daily habits is how we build a successful life. Let's jump into the tarot. Virgo, June 1st to June 8th. Virgo, June 1st to June 8th. Virgo, June 1st to June 8th. Virgo, June 1st. Well, you guys are particularly chatty, are we? <laughs> I 
hearing your own energy there. Virgo, June 1st to June 8th. Nope, there's too many cards. We only need two, Spirit. You gave us plenty. Virgo, June 1st to June 8th. Virgo, June 1st to June 8th. Okay. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I'm happy you're joining me. I hope this reading resonates with you. If you are a new viewer, welcome. I will clarify all these cards, but before I do. Past. Present. Near future. Someone to you. You to the someone. Balance. Outcome. Summary. This is a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Just because the whole thing doesn't sound like a complete story of your life doesn't mean there's not a message in here for you. Also, this is a general reading, right? There is no gender in tarot as well. You are either walking up to someone and talking or someone is walking up to you and talking. And this whole reading is a conversation between you and at least one other person. Some of these are groups, like that's a group card. Sometimes it's a conversation with a group. I would think only you would know if you were having a conversation with yourself. And if you're comfortable with that, please put that in the comments below if this turns out to be a reading where you're talking to yourself. I don't think I would know. Also on this channel, relationship is defined as a continued interaction between any two people. In your past, there are five, well, page of cups. Page of cups. I was looking at the five of wands and wanted to say that because it's got, this is... A lot of energy coming at me. Page of Cups. So there's some sort of communication, some sort of language happening there where there could have been an apology, but there was an emotional conversation. Could have been with a Scorpio or could have been on the subject of uh, something that was ending or something that was restarting with a death or rebirth. We'll have to clarify to find out. Ace of Cups. That is an offer of some kind, some communication, some offer coming in, bigger offer. It's a heartfelt place. Five of Wands, though, in your present moment, it created some sort of conflict. Five of Wands is, is a competition, like a competitive job, a sporting competition. It's uh, politics, world politics, office politics. It's gossip. It's people not minding their own business. It can be a physical altercation between two people in the extreme as well. Page of Wands, that's a very passionate communication. It could be somebody coming in hot, or it could just be somebody coming with immaturity, or somebody could just be super excited. Like, look at her, she's so happy, like, oh my God, look at this thing, right? Like that kind of energy, where you're meant to get excited with them. Emperor, that could be uh, from a father, a father figure, someone particularly mature, or just somebody standing in Aries energy. It's a divine masculine energy, so we'll have to clarify to find out who that is to you. If you if you are a divine masculine Virgo, it's likely you, but we'll find out for sure. Um, we got the High Priestess, that is Cancer energy. It's uh, intuitive energy. It's psychic energy. You could be interacting with a Cancer, though. Queen of Swords, I started chuckling when that fell out because I was like, is this right? All these cards all at once? And then that fell into the U position. That is a U card. I could tell you all the signs behind it, but I don't need to. That is a card of Virgo. You are standing in your intellectual thinky mode. You are pondering and you are trying to come up with what the best solution is. So you're standing in your own divine energy. Whenever you, whoever you're acting with, interacting with, doesn't matter, you are in your divinity. Queen of Pentacles in the balance. That is any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Capricorn. Also a card of Sagittarius. Eight of Cups there in the outcome. Some sort of walking away happening. Nine of Cups for some happiness. Walking away from something that's not quite fulfilling to go look for that last cup, to have that nine of cups in front of them. Ace of Swords is having some sort of realization about this walking away process that's happening. Hierophant, the divine, is involved here. It's Taurus energy. You could be interacting with a Taurus, but you don't have to be. It's also about marriage, contracts, documents. There's some system or connection or something. The divine is telling you to let go of something that no longer serves you. It just you're just gonna have some you know realization about what is what you need to walk away from. Let's get you some clarification.
What's this page of cups in Virgo's past? Change. Okay, so you got notified of some kind of change occurring. What's this page of cups in Virgo's past? 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 Just cancer energy there again with the chariot. There's some sort of reconciliation happening here. Judgment is Scorpio energy. So there was some sort of communication of a change because a choice was made to reconcile of some kind. Chariot energy, possibly with a cancer or by a cancer that choice was made. And then there was forward motion on that change. It's like getting the chariot energy twice there. What's this death card in Virgo's past? Change to stability. What's this death card or return to stability? Three ones. What's this death card? What's this death card? Got options there with that seven of cups. There's confusion. All right, so there's a desire to have a rebirth of stability, looking out towards the future, wanting things to be stable again. But there's still with some unequal give and take happening here. And that created some confusion. Stability was what was desired. There wasn't, you weren't sure if that was achievable. What's this Ace of Cups? Eight of Swords. Right, what's this Ace of Cups? I mean, somebody could actually be in jail, but they don't have to be. Queen of Pentacles, what's this Ace of Cups? No, 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 don't you dare. Uh -uh. There's so many cards there. What's this Ace of Cups? Okay. What's this Ace of Cups? So whoever you were interacting here with the path, in the past, they're going to be the balance over here. So there was some sadness here with this imprisonment card. So somebody could literally be in jail, but it doesn't, you know, that's something going to apply to a very few. Uh, that really is going to be about um, mental imprisonment. Let's like getting the Eight of Swords. Getting, getting a thought wrapped around the axle in your brain there. And whatever the worry was, there was sadness over the worry. Well, somebody was trying to throw love into a situation. Ten of Cups. This is uh, within a friends and family unit. It's in your personal life. Not in your professional. Queen of Pentacles, any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Heavy on the Capricorn. Also a card of Sagittarius. It really just feels like your energy, though. It feels like somebody was making up their mind between two different things. Sadness, hope, happiness. You weren't sure what they were gonna choose. And this person that you know very well, you weren't sure what they were gonna choose, so you were sort of like silently observing. What is this five of wands? Because there was confusion, you weren't sure what to do. Okay, it's like getting the five of cups again. What's this five of wands? What's this five of wands? What's this five of wands? Yeah, there was heartbreak here and sadness over this conflict. This three of swords, five of wands, five of cups. Somebody was trying to hold on, four of pentacles. There's a feeling of conflicted here. Outside interference. Somebody trying to hold on. Knight of Swords, any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Have me on the Gemini. Also a card of Taurus. Fast moving, impetuous energy moving forward. This impetuous energy moving forward, holding on and rushing towards is what creates this, this conflict, this heartache, this sadness. 
What is this page of wands in Virgo's near future? Okay. So the Five of Pentacles energy. Feeling sad. And feeling left out. We'll look up the angel number 55. What's this page of wands? What's this page of wands? What's this page of wands? Yeah, definitely look up 55. Uh, whew, or 555. Five, five. So some sort of communication coming in where somebody is feeling left out in the cold because of this argument. Five of swords, five of wands. It's like a heated argument with that five of wands energy, like a continuation there. And also a cold argument with that five of swords. And as a result, somebody's heated words come off, you know, the sentiment behind them come off cold and they leave you in this five of pentacles feeling. Nine of Wands, any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on the Sagittarius. Also a card of Scorpio. So somebody's going to bring in this information. Could be this knight's going to come in with some immaturity here. A little impetuousness. What is this Emperor card? Okay, because somebody's being false. Okay, that explains that. What is this Emperor card? Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. What's this Emperor card? Two of Pentacles. Somebody's realizing that there requires uh, some sort of balance. Right? Somebody, this Emperor, whoever that is for you, is not being completely honest. Ace of Swords. You're going to realize that this person isn't being completely honest about this new start and about this balance trying to find this balance. Interesting. Whether that's you, because you're identifying as the Emperor or not, right? Because it's not traditionally a card to Virgo. You could feel like that's you. In which case, you need to have an honest conversation with yourself. Time to go a little bit hermit, which is another one of your cards to figure that out. Or you could feel like this is someone else who's not really accepting the reality that's in front of them. That's what it's going to feel like to you. What is this High Priestess? Okay. What is this High Priestess? 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 Okay, so there's divine timing at play here in this person's decision making with that Wheel of Fortune. It's a Pisces Sagittarius energy. They have some sort of expectation here. They're trying to use your, their intuition about this offer, this Ace of Pentacles, and seek out their happiness. It's going to be here. They're going to cross-connect where we find out what that happiness is for them that they're trying to decide. Okay. What offer are they bringing though? What's this Queen of Swords? Thoughts. Okay, so whatever their offer is, you're going to have to think on it. What's this Queen of Swords? Four of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, that's your energy. What's this Queen of Swords? Okay, so it might be an offer to travel. That world card. Queen of Swords, needing to use your discernment. Think about things carefully, slowly. Four Swords, maybe take a break, right? Go internal to think. World card, because something is changing. Something is changing or shifting or moving, okay? Knight of Pentacles, that's your energy again. You're gonna need to move very slowly during this time right now. Something is confusing and it's not quite right. People are not agreeing, there's conflict. So you need to slow down, respond, not react. Don't give them your energy that way. What's this Queen of Pentacles? Community. 
Okay, what's this Queen of Pentacles? No, nope, it's too many cards. What's this Queen of Pentacles? What's this Queen of Pentacles? Again, too many cards. What's this Queen of Pentacles? And a sword, seven of wounds. Okay, okay. All right, so there's a defensiveness within the community that you're in. Because this Queen of Pentacles just totally feels like you. Right, there's the defensive energy, somebody feeling the need to defend their position. Ten of Wands, because they want to set down a burden. Ten of Swords, I would look up ten ten. Uh, because there's a feeling of betrayal. And that's what you need to understand. That's why you, part of why you have to go slow. You need to be wise here. And understand what their underlying motivating factor is. When people are communicating with each other, it's not just the words they say. It's not just how they say it. It's the energy. It's the vibration. It's the language. There is a message under the message always. You have to look for the primary motivating factor of the other person because that is the lens that they're viewing the world from. And if you can't understand their lens, you can't possibly help them in the way that you need to. You've got to understand their point of view first. What is this Eight of Cups? Great fortune. Okay, so it might be an opportunity that you're thinking, you know, because somebody over here is bringing you an opportunity, right? You might be an opportunity you're waking, walking away from. What is this Eight of Cups? Four of Cups, Two of Cups, okay. What is this Eight of Cups? The Sun. Okay, so illumination. Something gets illuminated for you with this motivating stuff. I'm guessing here that in this betrayal, this happening over here, this gets illuminated for you, this, uh, this behavior or whatever this is from this great fortune. Underlying motivating factors within a relationship, they become a, apparent to you. And your answer is to say no thank you and to do walking away. There's something about what this person wants with their Nine of Cups that's not in equity. It's not fair. What is this Nine of Cups? Yeah, they're making a choice. It could be that they're making a choice for someone else, right? Because they had an expectation. What is this Nine of Cups? What is this Nine of Cups? What is this Nine of Cups? Okay, so Libra energy there. This uh, Justice card. It's so definitely a choice focused on one's own happiness. Nine of Swords, I'd look up 99. Nine of Swords energy there. This is a nightmare. You choosing to walk away or to decline to do something and do not want to take that opportunity is not something they were expecting. Tower moment, stuff falling for them. They didn't know what to do. They weren't expecting that. What's this Ace of Swords? Yeah, some sort of realization about the high honor. What's this Ace of Swords? Here we are. You being you and recognizing that they're being false was not something they, they were anticipating. What's this Ace of Swords? What's this Ace of Swords? Hangman. Pisces energy. You need to get a higher perspective. That's the realization about the honor given, so higher perspective. And then there's going to be some sort of communication. Eight of Wands. You'll know when you've reached this moment because you're going to be going, wait, wait a minute. Does that mean that you want me to? And then list out whatever the thing is. And once you have that realization about what it is that they're really asking, Eight of Wands, is to move away. What's the Hierophant? Courthouse, it's Libra energy. What's this Hierophant? What's this Hierophant? Interesting. What's this Hierophant? Okay. Uh, Gemini energy there with the lovers. Uh, Taurus energy, Libra energy, Gemini energy. So there's something here within this relationship. 
higher level of commitment. Could be contracts, documents, courts. Could just be with a Libra. The justice system could be involved. There's going to be some, some kind of communication there. Page of Cups. Which we had in this present moment, I think. Somewhere in here there was a Page of Cups. I could have sworn, but maybe I'm wrong. Page of Cups. So some kind of communication coming in. Six of Swords. Six of Swords energy. Oh yeah, Page of Cups was in the beginning. So, similar subject matter. Not wrong, it's over here. Similar subject matter with this reconciliation, with this change. All right, more communication coming in for you uh, on that information about this relationship with whoever this is, about moving and wanting to move into calmer waters. Their response to this, for them, it's like a tower. They're like, wait, what? 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 You don't want that? What? You don't want to do that thing? What? What? You don't want that honor? What? 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 I th but this is what's going to make me, but you don't want the... You know, and then there's going to be a communication going on. They're going to come talk to you. That page of cups. Come talk to you about how do we fix this, basically. Virgo. Advice for Virgo, June 1st to June 8th. Advice for Virgo, June 1st to June 8th. Advice for Virgo, June 1st to June 8th. Nope. Only one card, please. Advice for Virgo, June 1st to June 8th. Okay, two of Pentacles. It's about finding balance. Once you get this new information, you need to find balance with this new information and this relationship, this choice, this lover's card. This. You need to find a way to move into calmer waters. You need to figure out within your own internal self what you need now that you have this new information to bring things back into balance with this person, to choose this relationship if you can choose it. If you can't, then you need to walk away. But if you can, you need to figure out what you need because you have to be able to express back to this person what you need to see before you feel like things are back in balance. Okay? If you have a yes or no question you would like answered, this is the time to think it because this is the deck that does it. Now, I'm going to pull three cards. You can ask uh, one, two, or three questions or no questions because this is pre-recorded and I'm going to pull them anyway. So if you're looking for a moment to pause, this is it. So you can think of those questions. Message for Virgo. Abundance. That's a yes. Message for Virgo. Communicate clearly. It's also a yes. Message for Virgo. But it's telling you how. Be assertive. That's also a yes. And again, it's telling you how. Let's get you a fairy message. Message for Virgo. Fairy star. We love the seven-pointed star, a symbol of our wings and not quite human form. Draw our star and we will come flying through the center, eager to share joy, wonder, and wisdom with you. My recommendation with that is that you actually do draw that star right on the top of it what your question is slip that under your pillow and then in the morning write down whatever your dreams are if you don't have anything after that first time when you do that you can leave it there for additional days if you like or my other recommendation is if you don't get anything that first night take that piece of paper outside burn it and let the let the smoke go up to the ether send the question to the heavens so they can answer you. I hope that helps, Virgo, because it is what I have for you. And just remember, as you go about the world this week, that you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here. <laughs>